Siegel of New York. Bill Bud trains from post three. Number one is ready to rumble. There's the 1A road to the top. It's Dave Wall driving for Cliff Siegel, Joan Vic Leonardis, Free Lupine stable. Bill Bud also trains this one. Road to the top will race in post eight. Nick's Fantasy, last year's Little Brown Jug winner. Saddle pad number two starting in post one. Bob Ritchie will drive for Mark and Jay Studd of North Hollywood, California. Carolyn Lyon trains. Number two, Nick's Fantasy. The fastest horse ever in Canadian harness racing history. Last summer at Woodbine in 149 and 4. Ball and chain. Number three from post two, Tony Kerwood driving for Joe Stutzman, who also trains co-owners George Miller Sr. and Fielding Equine. Number four, Jenna's Beach Boy will race from post four, the two-time Cadillac Breeders' Crown champion, both times at Woodbine in Toronto. For the Lee and Linda DeVisser Partnership of Holland, Michigan, Joe Holloway trains with Bill Fay in the Selkie, winner over a million and a half dollars. Jenna's Beach Boy in post four. As a two-year-old, he won the Metro Stakes right here at Mohawk Raceway last summer, winning an elimination of the Canadian Pacing Derby at Woodbine. Number five, Historic. Owned by the Robert Grand Holdings of Cam Campbellville, Stu Ferlot trains Doug Brown for the drive, making his first start of 1996. That's number five, Historic. Six is Make a Deal. Winner of several free-for-alls at Mohawk in this 1996 spring meet. Owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, Bob McIntosh trains Steve Condren for the drive, winning three in 11 this year and almost a half a million dollars. Number six is Make a Deal. Undefeated in eight starts this year. First time returning to Canada since a victory in the Confederation Cup as a three-year-old. Hi-ho Silver Heels from post seven. Co-owned and trained by Mylon Smith, co-owners Mima Smith and r and Moorfield Corporation. Rick Zeron picking up the drive on seven hi-ho silver heels. Multiple stakes winner, number eight, Village Connection. Second place finisher in last year's Little Brown Jug Final. Winner of the Woodbine Gold Cup last December. Village Connection owned by Wellwood Stables of Cambridge. Bill Wellwood trains Paul McDonnell for the drive. Starting in post nine in the... Trailing position, that's number eight, Village Connection. And completing the field is number nine, Cam Terrific, who will be also in the trailing tier from post 10. Gino Toscani, the owner, trainer, and driver of this $432,000 lifetime winner, number nine, Cam Terrific. We're pleased to be hosting the Canadian stop of the 1996 North American Graduate Series at Mohawk Raceway. The fifth race, the 1996 North American Graduate Series, they're at the start. They're off and pacing. Jenna's Beach Boy make a deal. Are firing. Hi ho, Silver Hills is going on, carrying all of them into the first turn. Will be the ball and chain ready to rumble. Comes through to be in fifth, and his stablemate road to the top is up on the outside in sixth. Nick's Fantasy eased away in seventh. Back there in eighth is the historic Village Connection is away poorly. He's way back in ninth. Cam Terrific is tenth. Hi ho, Silver Hills has had the worst of it. He was three wide out around Jenna's Beach Boy and ball and chain the entire first turn of 27 seconds flat and it's a wild charge to the front end hi ho silver heels being asked for all he can give first time under the wire jenna's beach boy gains the inside lane ball and chain burned them early and is right there in third make a deal from fourth ready to rumble is fifth Nick's fantasy is six road to the top seventh on the outside then historic village connection and cam terrific 55 seconds they pass the half jenna's beach Beach Boy, very hard used on the lead. High Ho Silver Heels is staying with him into the backstretch. Right there in third is Ball and Chain. Make a deal from fourth. Ready to rumble is fifth. Three wide picking up six. That's historic. Village connection totally blocked at the inside seventh. Nick's Fantasy is eighth. And then it's back to Road to the Top. And Cam Terrific is trailing. Uh, Jenna's Beach Boy, historic, still advancing three wide. Ball and Chain is in the pocket. Make a deal, reclaims fourth. High Ho Silver 
Hills. His undefeated streak is over. 1-24 and 3, the three-quarter time. Jenna's Beach Boy now put to the final test as they come to the top of the stretch. Ball and chain came to the outside. And on the inside is Make a Deal. Village Connection has come through. Jenna's Beach Boy to a hard drive. Ball and chain is inching in on the wire. Jenna's Beach Boy all out trying to hold off ball and chain. Make a deal was third. Village Connection fourth. It's a win photo in 153.